Hey guys, so apparently last time it was a big to-do with me asking Jill questions from your Facebook, my Facebook, that you posted on. And so now, because people want to, Jill's going to ask me questions. Ben, how do you feel about the standalone Star Wars movie being created at the same time as Episode 7? I feel good about standalone Star Wars movies, especially if it's about Boba Fett. If it's about Boba Fett, it'll be probably the best Star Wars movie ever made. Um, they have, there's also talk about Yoda being a standalone movie, having a standalone movie. That one I'm not so keen about because Yoda's kind of shrouded in mystery, right? And and if we do a backstory about Yoda, all well, that mystery's going to be gone. There's also talk about doing one about Han Solo, a younger Han Solo. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm really excited about that one, too. Um, basically, I think these movies are a brilliant idea because Star Wars. Colton Smith. This is a good question. How many little Bens and Jills do you want to add to the world? Fifteen. That way we can have a full rugby team. Wow. Christy Bennett. Ben, what would you do if Jill confessed she was an Oilers fan? Next question is from Michael Coker. Do you let Jill win at S X Wing? Um, I think the one and only time we played, I trounced her. Although, I did help. He cheated, actually. She cheated. She would roll... So many times more than because she had. Because he cheated first! How did I cheat first? You didn't tell me, Luke. Luke's powers. I think I did. He's a Jedi. He has force powers. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Teach Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. It's the kind of man I want. Pokemon! Pokemon! Gotta catch them all. It's you and me. You know it's our destiny, <laughs> Pokemon! Oh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. Pokemon! Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Pokemon! What's your vlog? This. <laughs> That's what he said. Is rugby an essential part of your relationship with Jill? Or is it just wishful thinking? Obviously it's an important part of any relationship, especially if we're going to have 15 children to start our own rugby team. Are Canadians really afraid of the dark? Just don't turn out the lights. Don't turn out the lights! How did you two meet and your first impression of Jill? We met in our ward in Glenwood here in the profs. I home taught her now sister-in-law. I knew she existed then, but we never really talked much. And then a year later, we, uh, she moved into a different apartment who I was better friends with, and then I got to meet Jill a little bit more, and she talked more to me. And my first impression was she was cool. It took a while for us to kind of, you know, date. Five years! Just kidding. Just three. It's fine. Just three. And if Ben could choose any day of the week, which breakfast cereal would it be? Life. I like life. I love life! Life is good. Let's have life every day. If we didn't have life every day, we'd be dead. Who are your life hero slash role models and why? I think Luke Skywalker. Han Solo! Can I just say Han Solo? He was yeah. a great man in the fact that he was a scoundrel and he didn't work for anybody, but he was still a good guy. He knew what was right. He came back in the Battle of Yavin and helped save Luke Skywalker's butt. Literally. Literally saved his butt. Here's your butt. <laughs> saved it for ya. He lost everything else. Yep. Like his chin. Yeah. And ears. It's gone. Butt chin. But his butt's still there. <laughs> butt chin. Where did you serve your mission? Philippines. Perfect. Is it a boot or a boat? It is not a boot, but it's more of a boat. We talk about boats all the time. Like a sailboat? Like a sailboat. I like sailboats. Gotta go up and a boat on my boat. My houseboat. Hostboat. Hostboat. Who is your favorite superhero and why? Captain Canuck. Because Canada. That's all we got for you. Have a great day. May the forest be with you. And... Happy Memorial Day! Yay! Go Oilers! Woo! <laughs>